What's up and welcome back to the Scuffed Ass Podcast for episode number 240. If you're watching this, I'm on an airplane. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. I am currently flying. The airplane looks exactly like my room. It's very weird. Very strange. Yeah, they got uh, they got the new, you know, VIP sections that, you know, make you feel more at home. Yeah, they just... Well, so they just lowered a chain down, grabbed my house, and are just moving it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Fucking imagine. <laughs> That'd be wild. Right? Kind of sick, though. Kind of sick, uh, though. Uh, wonder how you doing today? Apparently not great. Good. I mean, I'm doing all right. It was, it was a great day until after I got home, but... Yeah. Oh, apparently Artie's on a plane right now also, if you're listening to this. Very weird. I'm getting drunk on a plane. I'm definitely not doing that. I'm definitely going to annoy the, like, rich business guy next to me, though, when I'm sitting there in my shorts and my flip-flops and I ask for my happy juice. <laughs> 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 I want my happy juice. I want my happy juice. Got to You got to have happy juice on the plane, man. It's ve- it's very important. It is yeah. the most important. Bro's going to be so distracted by foosball. Well, I got to watch my team get their ass kicked, man. Speaking of foosball, I got to set some fantasy lineups at some point. Oh, yeah. Probably shouldn't I've... forget because people Oh, yeah, are I need to tell Cody to... Cody totally did not think our uh, league existed anymore. Oh, he probably forgot so, from last year, too. I don't know if he paid attention to it last year. Uh, kind of, he did. But um, but I was like, so are you ever going to, because I'm facing him this week. I was like, are you ever going to like get Christian McCaffrey out of your lineup? Because he's not playing. He goes, on our, what league? Because we're not playing each other. And I'm like, yeah, in the sleeper league? He goes, I don't even have that app anymore. He's like, I thought we weren't even doing that this year. I'm like, no, it's every year. It's a, it happens every year. (laughs) Uh, He's like, oh, so then he looked and I'm like, dude, you actually have a fairly good team. I don't, because he's got two of the top running backs, although Christian McCaffrey's hurt, but. He's never going to play again. He's retiring. Is he? No, Tua probably should though. No shit. Do you see man. where? Uh, Do you see where the Bills Mafia has donated a shit ton of money to Tua's to uh, foundation or whatever? W W Bills fans, yeah. right? Also, can can the Bills like stop slamming him on his head for no reason? To be fair, this one was his fault, but every other one was the Bills' fault. Literally all of them. Right. Like the one where the guy pushed him down eight seconds after he threw it like a piece of shit. Right. Uh, you, the the first one where we saw him do the whole fucking fencing position thing where he like yep. got all stiff. Yep. Uh, he did it this time too. Ironically. I know, it's the third time. That's why he needs to retire. Yeah. And it wasn't even like, like it was a dirty hit or anything. I mean, it was I, from him. Why the fuck are you lowering your head into DeMar Hamlin? Exactly. Chest? We literally watched that kill DeMar Hamlin once. What the fuck are you doing? That is nowhere have you ever been taught to lower your head into somebody. Especially as a quarterback. Especially as anybody. You are taught the exact opposite, so you don't break your fucking neck, you moron. I was going to say, he should have slid. I don't understand why he thought, oh, I'm going to dive into a defender. That'll help my fucking concussion cause. Because he's Tua. I think he's had one too many concussions, and he does not think anymore. He just acts. He never really thought. That's the issue. He's Tua Dungavailoa. True. True. Jedi says no. Uh. Didn't you see where the announcer was getting a lot of shit? No. Because he brought up the like, oh, it's kind of ironic that it was, you know, Damar Hamlin that did it to Tua. Um, that shit. Then everything kind of got all quiet for a little bit because all the other announcers were like, dude, <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, shut up. <laughs> I want this to be another. Uh... I'm not acknowledging what Jedi just said. I want this to be another, um, like, I can't remember the guy's name, but you've definitely seen the video of the announcer for the Reds who uh, used the really bad F word live on TV. 
the like oh. slur one. Yeah, the the, oh. the the one. I thought I heard something. And about he that. like was yeah. apologizing mid game, and he's like, you know, I re- you know regret my actions, and you know, I I think of, like to think of myself as a as a man of faith and all this stuff. And he's like going into it, and he's like, as Castiano strives one to deep left field, that one's gone three to two Reds. I really don't know if I'm ever going to get to put on this headset again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair. It's <laughs> just like uh, giving the home run call and then immediately going back into the apology and the like, damn, my career's over. It was fucking hilarious. Right. Nick Castellanos and the way he does that when like announcers are apologizing or bad news is being broken on a broadcast and him immediately hitting a home run. The dude loves bad things happening in the world. Something I, bad gets announced, he hits a home run. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. my, I'm a bad person. So you saw all the jokes happening on 9-11, right? And not about Biden, even though that one was funnier. I'm going go to I'm gonna I, go to my granddaughter's birthday party, and then I'm going to watch the debate, and tomorrow I'm doing 9-11. <laughs> I did see something that about was that. funny no everybody's been making you know oh my sir a plane just hit the second tower jokes so in my head I was just like oh my god a plane just hit the second tower as Castellanos drives this one deep to right field <laughs> I don't know why my brain is so horrible dude is not paying attention to what I am saying no, I'm turn saying- off the fucking football game it's over I don't care if it's the first quarter or the fourth quarter. Turn it off. You're not able to multitask today. You're like genuinely not. You didn't he's acknowledge just, what I just said. Everybody no, else is laughing. You're dumb. He's just mad because I won't laugh at his shitty jokes. It wasn't shitty. Jedi laughed. It was shitty. Jedi laughed. It was shitty. It's not even the shittiest <laughs> 9-11 joke I've ever made. I know. <laughs> or, or. Hey, it's, no, yeah, we're not. Just, we're not bringing that one up. That we, yeah. we're gonna let let the past die kill it if we have uh-huh. to type shit you know uh-huh. sure okay yeah we're, that's what we're gonna do don't let him bully you wonder call him a bitch wonder deserves to be bullied no i don't no i don't yes you do no i'm gonna cook you like a cornball how do you cook a cornball in the a oven? fryer, probably. Because um, well, I'm thinking of just like corn, like a cornmeal, like batter, you know. Cornmeal. You know I'll, what uh, cornmeal is? I think. I'll uh, corn your ball. That's hot. Mm-hmm. Also, you did it wrong, Jedi. It's not hawk to a. It's fuck to a. Whoa! Watch your mouth. We get it. The bills are bad. Get over it. I mean, I, I say I as they're they undefeated. Get, yeah, I thought they'd be 0-2 right demolished. now. So. I still like, think they could have had Tua not gotten hurt. It, yeah. They were yeah. doing three touchdowns. It's the Dolphins offense. That's literally three plays. They did it against the, the Jags, but also against the Jags. But. Don't act like Buffalo's defense is good. It's the no, Jags. No, Buffalo... Buffalo owns the Dolphins, though, so... Not early in the year, normally, though. Bozo? Well, I don't know. They've won, like, a last fucking, I don't know, 11 out of 12 games they played each other, so... I don't know if that's completely true, but I, it's something like that. I don't think it is. Um, I don't know. It's weird. It feels weird that I, like, it doesn't feel weird that I'm hiding my tattoo right now because, you know, it's not close to TwitchCon. It does feel weird hiding it for the podcast because this comes out while I'm at TwitchCon, but because I wanted to do this one live and because I still don't plan to, like, show it off until, I guess, when this is coming out. I was wondering why you were wearing a hoodie. I I just figured... Bro, so ready for hoodie weather that he's dude. Just can't I wait. am ready. Well, I like am ready for hoodie weather, but I'm not because hoodie weather only exists here for like a month before right. it's just cold for six months. So yep. it's like I kind of want hoodie weather, but I also well, don't. I really think you're gonna get lucky this year. I don't think we're gonna have real cold weather until like December, the way it looks. 
Maybe, but I doubt it. Um, so darts start the day after I get back, which is fucking annoying. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hopefully I'm no not... No idea where we play. Hopefully I'm not sick. I hope not. Usually you never it's know. two days after that you get sick, so... Well, you know, the convention ends on Sunday, so... Yeah. Two yeah. days after would be Tuesday. Wonder accidentally throw a dart in Geek's eye. He's not good enough to hit my eye. No, I'm not. <laughs> no. I'm the weird type of good at darts where I'm like not. Uh, unless there's, it's like the reverse of when we play video games where I'm like not good at darts until it matters and then I'm the best. Right. Which yeah. is he's he's really good in darts under pressure. Yep. He's really good any, anyway, but other teams are extremely good at just getting lucky at beating him. Because Once like, there's I should, pressure, should not, I be, lock the fuck in. Yeah, but there's there's times where, oh, he's going to win this game, and this person needs like this exact, you know, an extremely weird amount of points where what there's more that? than one option to get it. So they'll just throw for something else and they're so bad at darts that they completely miss so bad that they hit the other option and win. Yeah. What was the one? Oh, right. They were throwing at a 14 and hit a double seven and beat me. Yeah. It dropped literally five fucking spots on the dartboard. It's like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah. She was like, Oh darn, I missed. Oh, I won. <laughs> and I'm just like, uh, and you're like, are you fucking huh? kidding me right now? Uh, or, you know, I'm also great at darts when it's, you know, they're like throwing darts. First person to hit a bullseye wins this shirt. And I'm like, I'm not going to yeah. do it. And you're like, just throw one. I'm like, fine, I'll do it. Oh, all right. I win a shirt that doesn't fit. So I gave oh, it. Oh, then I got the shirt. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it doesn't fit me. So I guess wonder gets to have it. See, I Congrats. knew he'd win and I knew he wouldn't get to fit it. So I knew I was going to get the shirt. So it, it was all my master plan. Wait. Hold on. What? Waiting and holding on. What do you want me to hold on to? Oh my god. No. Okay. Dang. That would have been way cooler. They need luck. Apparently they're dumb. So Kentucky. The Kentucky Wildcats. Um... I think they just lost 13 to 12 to the Georgia Bulldogs, the number one team in the country. And they're an unranked team. Kentucky, mm -hmm. Kentucky almost had them. Um, uh, but apparently I don't, see, I wish I knew what this was in reference to, but I think Kentucky punted on their last drive. I'm sorry. What kind of coaching is that? You're an unranked team. Who cares? Try to win, you fucking losers. It almost has me as pissed off as the Raiders coach. <laughs> I'm so upset. No, so I thought the whole reason you kept Antonio Pierce was because he wasn't a little bitch. Like, mm -hmm. it was, he was going to make this team scrappy and, you know, they were gonna they were gonna fight and do good things and you know he's he's great for the culture and he's a great team builder and we're fourth and two from the fifty in the fourth quarter, down six. We're gonna punt. I'm gonna tell my offense I have no faith in them. <laughs> it's like what this is both the most bitch made thing I've ever seen, but also the, I'm straight up just telling players on my team. I don't think they're good enough to get me two yards. That's just the worst decision you can make as a coach. Then right. I don't know, man. I get that the Raiders are supposed to be scrappy, but if you're supposed to be this incredible team builder and chemistry and smart football, why are your defensive backs starting fights in the fourth quarter for no reason? Costing you the game? Like, 
come on, man. This is one of those, like, the interim guy got the head coaching job and it worked well for a year. But then you, it's it already feels like it's that he got the real job and it turns out it was more work than he actually thought. Mm-hmm. And now, now he doesn't know what to do and he's just, <laughs> he's in over his head. And that's wild. They should, they should hire a geek. They should. All I'd they got to do is provide him a house. Right? I'd cook. For the first year. Then they got to pay him, you know, a couple mil after that. <sighs> oh, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know either. I've... But. I don't know what, I don't actually know what there is to talk about other than like oh. puffer fish. Uh, the PS5 Pro got announced and it's fucking stupid. Oh, but also figures. it's stupid for very weird reasons. And I'm sick of the internet. Shocker. Mm-hmm. So iPhone 16 just got announced, right? Mm-hmm. And compared to the iPhone 15, it's like, the most minor upgrades in every way, and people are freaking out like, well, they're just scamming people. It's like, so go look at fucking Samsung and Google. It's the same thing. Stop pretending Apple's different. Well, it's just so expensive. Literally the same price as everybody else. Shut the fuck up, you useless pie. Pie? You useless pie. Yep, Yep. you're a useless pie. Fuck. Ooh, what flavor? Pie flavor. Uh, What's up, Don? Ah, Fuck, I can't speak today. Dawn day afternoon. There you go. We're trying to record a podcast and I can't fucking talk. This is... Is God's that our weather? Di- is that our weather guy? Yes. <laughs> Meteor- uh, meteorologist Don Day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be wild. I know it's it not, but that would be wild. I uh. just want to know what he's doing on Twitch. <laughs> Unless he's got his own podcast now or something to talk about weather. No, he just be. he just watches streams. That's that's how he gets his entertainment. Currently playing oh. The Last of Us. Nice. I do like The Last of Us. That's a good game. I'm not a big fan. I can't get into he, it. He's he he can't get into those type of games, but I'm See, all for him. I don't what do you mean I can't get into those type of games? I like don't how, how do you I don't understand what I can't get into is the issue. Other than it's the story is very mediocre. It's a zombie game, and it's a single-player story game. Two things I love. Something about The Last of Us, I just, it bores me. It's because he's so used to, like, Call of Duty storylines and stuff. Don't do that. I. What are you talking about? I, just, I, play, I, I have played I play- more single-player games this year than you have in your life. Stop. Like, like, actually. All I'm saying is that, like, I'm talking about zombie games in specific. No, I just, but I'm talking about just story games in general. What? Oh, yes, oh. zombie stories are like better than The games. Last of Us. Fucking obviously. Well, not all of that's them. That's all I was saying. But that's, but no, when you say Call of Duty, you're obviously talking about campaigns, and don't you fucking dare. Those all no, suck. I was talking about zombie stories in Call of Duty. Well, I wish that's you would have used about. those words instead of just saying he plays too much Call oh. of Duty. But I haven't played Call of Duty in a year. (laughs) Well, I was going to explain, but you kept cutting me off. Like, you don't... uh, Yeah, I'm going to scream. I want to play Astrobot next. Valid. I've heard great things about Astrobot. But, yeah. Anyway, I went up the mountain and looked for a camping spot, and I was going to take my camper up there next weekend, but I don't know if I want to now because there's a fire not far from where I want to put my camper. So I want to take it up there and then the fire shift directions. And I don't know why we started yelling fire. Dude, what is it with you and fire? Why are you so into it? Not into it. You are not exist. (laughs) Well, that's just not true. You want more fires to exist. I don't, especially when it's in my hunting areas. Um, but yeah, so the PS five pro, well, so the iPhone. I saw somebody try to call it a, like, consumer protection issue, which doesn't make sense. They think that Apple charging the same price for slight upgrades, 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 upgrades. is... Okay, talk today. 
like somehow bad. Just don't buy it. Here's the thing. Moore's Law exists. Exists. Fuck. Moore's Law exists. Stuff can only get so much better mm -hmm. in big leaps. The days of every year a new iPhone launching that is drastically different and drastically worth upgrading have been gone since the iPhone 10. It's been six goddamn years. It's been over. The only reason mm -hmm. you upgrade every year is because you're an asshole who likes new phones. It's me. I'm the asshole. <laughs> but I'm not going to come out every year and be like, uh, the new phone sucks. It's not that much of an upgrade. Don't fucking buy it then. It's legitimately not made for you. You know who the iPhone 16 exists for? The people who still are on an iPhone 13, 12, 11, or 10. That's it. If you have a, you know, 14 or a 15, this isn't for you. And Apple doesn't care that it's not for you. They could sell four iPhone 16s and they wouldn't care. Mm -hmm. Because they wouldn't lose their share of the cell phone market. People would still be using 15s, 14s, 13s, which is all that they care about. Because Apple doesn't really, like, yes, they make money from the iPhone. They're not making all of their money from the iPhone. They're making mm -hmm. all of their money from you using an iPhone and using the App Store and paying through things through the App Store where they're getting a 30% cut of whatever you're paying for. Mm -hmm. So Apple doesn't care if you use an iPhone 10, 11, 12, 13. They don't give a fuck as long as you're using an iPhone. Now, mm -hmm. obviously, they'll take your money if you go buy a 16. They're not going to say no. But they don't actually care about whether their phones sell. When companies like Samsung have to advertise crazy new features every year, even though they're all a gimmick and stupid because Samsung doesn't have their own app store. They don't have this other way to offset cost. So they have to sell new phones every year. Apple doesn't mm -hmm. give a fuck. That's why they keep extending how long they're going to like provide software updates to phones while every other company except Google is lowering how long they're providing software updates because those companies need to make money. Apple and Google are like, you're already in the ecosystem. Google doesn't even care if you buy a Pixel. They're like, buy a Samsung. We don't give a fuck. We still make the same money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Uh, Geek Last of a Stream. Uh, I did once. I played for like seven hours. Hated it. Never played again. Yeah, it, you're gonna get lucky that he gets to play um, Elden Ring a full playthrough. Oh, dude, at point. that's not lucky. <laughs> that's so bad. <laughs> I'm telling he's lucky. You're not lucky. I'm so we upset. We are lucky because we get to watch you. I'm so upset. Struggle with life for the next how long? How long it's going to take you to beat this? I, I game, think it's but... not going to take me that long. I don't. I think you're going to hate your life. Oh, I am. But I absolutely. I bet I get it done. I, you know, I'm not going to place an actual bet, but I think I can do it in less than a week. I've been looking up how to just. I don't care about trying to find things. I don't care about fighting every boss. That's not how you beat it. You only need to beat like six bosses. And I've been looking yep. up how to do it really fast. Yeah. Well, there might be cheese systems. You can beat them, but that's the goal. I didn't I say, think I, didn't say I was going to play it. Correct. I said I was going to play yeah. it. I yeah, have it I on PC. It. I'll download a mod where every boss is one hittable. Fuck you. You know what oh, I mean? Well, that's bullshit. Is it? I still play it. Yes. Yes, that's bullshit. That's cheating. I never said it's, I wasn't going to cheat. It's dirty and you know it. Show me in the rules where I said I give a fuck. <laughs> I'm burning your PC if you cheat like that. And I'm not buying you a new one after that. Well, you are. Because I don't have the money for it. Well, you, you're you going to have to do something because you just admitted to the crime. Why? <laughs> Live on a stream and on me. recording. I will. I will be hailed as a hero. No, you won't. Until I die. Yes, You'll be I will. Hailed as a fucking moron. <laughs> nope. Hailed as a hero. No. I was doing a public service. No, you weren't. There's no public yep. to service. I was burning a cheater's PC. That sounds weird, but we're gonna go. <laughs> Who with did it. I cheat on? <laughs> You're public. You're... The Republic, no. yes. The Republic. For the Republic. 
Oh man. You're supposed to defeat the Sith, not join them. N nope, try again. You'll get it right sometime. Nope, never. Who said that you would destroy the Sith, not join them? That would be such an interesting turn of events. So Jamar Chase is upset today. Uh, because he said he's not going to continue working out a contract with the Bengals this season. He feels misled by them. Uh, Mark Chase to the Buffalo Bills. No. Couldn't afford him, but... You know who can? Whatever. And actually right. has something the Bengals might want in a trade. Because the Vikings don't want number three anymore. Number three and a first round pick for Jamar might be enough. Like, mm -hmm. actually, it just might team them back up in Minnesota. Uh, mm -hmm. That's funny. Uh, so talk about PS5 Pro. Uh, okay. So PS5 Pro. Less than marginal upgrades over the regular PS5. Less than marginal. Uh, everything I've seen is like a less than 5% increase in any performance measure. No real added anything. Um, doesn't come with a disk drive. You have to pay the extra to get the disk drive later. You know, because it's an add-on just like for the PS5 Slim. You can buy the diskless version and then get the disk thing later. You want to know how much it costs to get a PS5 Pro with the disk drive? So like all in on a PS5. A disk drive and a stand. It doesn't come in the box with a stand. You got to buy a stand to make it stand vertical. Otherwise, you have to lay it on its side. You want to make a guess on how much it costs all in for a PS5 Pro? 600 bucks. $800. Dude, what the fuck? Well, so there's this really key thing. PlayStation has no competition, especially in the mid-cycle refresh. Xbox isn't making, uh, like when the PS4 Pro came out and PlayStation released it at the same price as the PS4, Xbox also created the One X. It had a mid-cycle refresh that was killer. PlayStation had to care. Xbox isn't doing anything. Xbox also has shown us that they don't actually care about their console at all. Like, I think Microsoft is saying that Xbox is dead. Hmm. They're going to keep releasing consoles, I think, but not really. They want everything to go through Game Pass. I don't know if you've looked into the pricing of Game Pass recently. The only place where Game Pass isn't fucking ridiculous is on PC. Buying Game Pass on your console is actually just kind of a waste. They raised the price. The base level of Game Pass that you can get doesn't give you access to all the games on console. And cut that base model costs more than what Game Pass costs on PC and you get everything. Like, Microsoft is saying consoles are stupid. And Sony, now with no competition, gets to go, cool, instead of selling PlayStations at a loss like we always have, we get to charge whatever the fuck we want for them. Now... To be fair, you're an idiot if you already have a PS5 and you think you should buy a PS5 Pro. There's right. no point. It's just like what I was just saying with the iPhone. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not made for you. And it's probably great if you're upgrading from a PS4. I still think just buy a regular PS5, though. Right. Like, the yeah, PS4 Pro was not super popular. It only had, like, a 16% market share. Right now, from early polls that Sony has ran, only like 7% of their customer base is saying they'll buy a PS5 Pro. So that's like even worse, like less than half. That's the worst. If Xbox actually dies, that's going to be like the worst thing to ever happen to PS5. Mm -hmm. It's it's the worst because thing to happen for gamers. Be, you need competition. Yep. Exactly. There'll be no competition. So PS5 is all of a sudden going to charge a thousand bucks for their shitty fucking console that has not been upgraded in 10 plus years. That's what's going to happen. Because they don't have to give a shit anymore. People are going to buy, if they, if people want to buy a console, they're going to buy a PS whatever. The other huge issue 
that I've seen even less people talking about is, sorry, my brain just like exploded. But currently there's no point for a PS5 Pro to exist because the PS5 hasn't even mattered yet. Every game is still built with the PS4 and the Xbox One in mind. No Mm -hmm. game is taking advantage of the current gen hardware. Like, the PS5 Pro doesn't need to exist because the PS5 doesn't need to exist, apparently. If every game is releasing on an older console, that means every game is not built for the new one. They're not built to be that high quality. It's a waste of time entirely. Sad, I already have a PS5 and an iPhone 15 Pro Max, so I'm not going to get any of the cool new tech. I'm, oh, it's going to surprise people, but I, so I've talked about, so I currently have an iPhone 15 Pro, not the Max, just the Pro. I'm considering, I don't even know if it'll be an upgrade, but I'm considering just getting a regular iPhone 16. Probably the plus, so it's at least the bigger one. But the color is cooler, and, like, the key feature differences are microphones that can record, like, spatial audio, which I don't really care about because I use external mics anyways if I'm recording on my phone. Um, Mm -hmm. The telephoto lens, which I never take photos of people like that that's what the telephoto does it's like how you get the the like super bokeh effect in the background so everything's like blurred out good portraits i don't take pictures of people not important and the only thing that is like intriguing to me is you know going back to a lower refresh rate display because the iphone 16 is only 16 or 60 uh you know 60 hertz to 60 frames per second whereas Mm-hmm. the higher ones are 120 but i like right. genuinely don't know if that matters my only issue is like i have to stick with whatever the next phone is for probably two years so like mm-hmm. you know you're joining me on the uh buy a phone and live with it for yeah because there's no point ever. in upgrading them every year now obviously if i like am tim the tap man next year at this time you know killing it with viewers sure i'll buy a new phone just because i can Right. But like the odds are not that I won't be doing well, but I mean, I'm going to be living in a city in my own place. Throwing away 1200 bucks on a phone doesn't really make sense. Right. Unless things greatly change financially. So like, yeah, I don't know. So I am, I'm joining the, slow crew like i have thought about getting a new phone because at this point for you i would well mine's getting to that age where the battery is not lasting quite as long as it used to yeah and that kind of bothers me a lot and the battery on that specific phone has never really been that great i don't think i've i don't think i've ever seen you go three hours without plugging it in that is not fine well, when I the first two years I had it, I would not plug it in for a day and a half and be fine. You also actually you know? use your phone now, which is yeah. a bit of a problem for you. I use it a lot. Um, but my biggest thing is, like, I use it as my GPS when I'm hunting. It's like when I'm in a real rough stuff and I'm usually tracking where I'm going and, and stuff like that. So if it dies on me and I happen to get lost, I have no way to... You know, find my way out. Although I'm pretty good at, you know, finding my way out. Good at, unless it's dark. That's the only way that it be, it becomes a little more. You know, bros afraid of the difficult. dark. Not afraid of it, but when you don't know where you're going, and you have no way to see where you're at, you know, the better thing to do would be to just sit down and wait till morning. You know. Yeah. But, because you're only going to make yourself more lost and then you're going to be confused to come daylight. And so, I don't know. There we go. But, There's Wonders next phone. Oh, 
damn, I kind of want that phone. That's pretty. So, real quick, I want you to get on your computer that's right in front of you that you know you're currently using. Go Google and just on. go to OnePlus.com. Uh, because setting up multi-streaming is kind of a pain in the ass. If I was going to stream another place at the same time, it would be TikTok. And that also doesn't have a super easy way to stream from OBS yet. And restream sucks. When Twitch realizes you're using restream, it fucks with your stream. And I'm not big enough for... It's to be able to one, overcome one, that, like the word one or the number one, the word one, like, but like O N E and then plus like the word plus. Cause your next phone might be the one plus 12. I remember when the one plus one came out and then look at the flowy emerald color. When you click on oh, one plus 12, cool. it's so pretty. Honestly, if they're still making it when uh, I get to next year at this time, I might switch to the OnePlus Open um, from the Galaxy Fold. Once once I have this one paid off, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I've always wanted to use a OnePlus phone. I think the first I'll one... Just pick I'll stick with the Samsung. Why? That's whatever. Why? Probably. Just because I know how to use it. It's familiar. Outside of an iPhone, literally everything's the same, but okay. They're all running Android. It's all the same shit. The yeah. only phone that's even kind of different is iPhone. And if you can't pick up an iPhone or a OnePlus and use it, you're just dumb. There's literally no difference. That's me. No, you're not. I'm dumb. You're not that dumb. You might be dumb, but you're not that dumb. I've raised you better than this. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it is cheaper, so maybe. Uh, the OnePlus 3. I'm trying to remember which OnePlus phone was the first one. I was like, damn, I need that phone. There's no, oh, that, see, that's the Nord, I see. I was like, there's no way they went backwards with how good their phones were. Um, so Samsung is tough. I think you'd enjoy a Fold. I really do. But I Maybe. don't think you could actually get away with using one. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. See, it's weird. The issue is you'd end up just using it closed most of the time, which exactly. kind of defeats the purpose. But That's, it is, yeah. but it's also is really nice to be able to just, you know, bubble. And then look, it's yeah. me and you on a phone. Yeah. I mean, maybe back in the day when I was still, you know, watching YouTube videos a lot on my phone or something like that, then I feel like that would be when I would use it the most. But I don't watch YouTube on my phone anymore. I just watch it on my PC or, you know, like our videos and stuff. I just expand it on my phone and just watch it that way. I don't know. Now, I, I'm not an iPhone iPhone fan. So He's a hater iPhone. for no reason. No, I've just been a Samsung fan for literally ever. So why change now? Don't be a fanboy. Try other phones. Because then I have to learn how to do... No, you don't. Phone. Nothing's ever any different. Nothing's any different. Like, at all. I have to not go iPhone just to spite my brother. That is why. That why is your the brother? sole purpose. Because he's an iPhone... Well, he says he's always been an iPhone fan, which is not true. He's never had an iPhone until, like, a few years ago, and then he thinks he's... It's like when he got a bike. He thought he was a biker after he got a bike once. So, um, but also, you know, it just, I don't know. It's a rivalry. 
But why? What 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 is spiting him by you not getting one? Because he's always talking shit on Samsung at all times. You know, even though there's like not that much difference, really. As he you should know? fuck Samsung. I mean, they get everything done that I need them to do, so I was gonna say I'm actually allowed to say that though. I literally use a Samsung. <laughs> I'm allowed to make fun of these companies. In the last year, no. I have used a Google. Uh, uh, I've used a Pixel. I've used a Galaxy, and I've used an iPhone. I'm I'm allowed to talk shit. But it, but it's funny because he talks shit in the worst way you can on it. Yeah. Like telling me that oh your phone's shit because it's built uh, outside the United States, and I'm like, so is your fucking phone iPhone is not built in the United States. Yeah, but States. it was designed in the United States. That's better. That doesn't fucking matter. They're still built outside of the United States by China, Taiwan. So was your truck. Those kind of... Exactly. That's the exact argument I made with him. I'm like, they're literally built with the same fucking material outside of the United States. Yes, it was designed in the United States, but not built here. It's no different than Chevy. It's built in Mexico. You know, that's... You're, you're not... I mean... It's funny because he was like, well, it's shit because it's built outside the United States. I'm like, well, so is your phone. That's built out of the, I don't know why you're shitting on your own phone then. Right. He's like, no, it's built in the United States. I'm like, no, it's not. It was designed, being designed someplace and being built someplace is different. You know what phone you should get? Actually, you shouldn't since, you know, we got that weird letter about supposed spies around here. I genuinely wonder if they're just talking about me and you. Because we just use TikTok all the time. Remember, you remember the letter we got about spot oh. Chinese spies in our area. Are they just talking about uh, us because we use TikTok? No. Well, everybody <laughs> it's, it's here just, uses TikTok. That's not true. I've met like zero people who use TikTok. I've met literally everyone I know who uses TikTok. Well, that's just false. I mean, not everybody, but I'm the majority of everybody I know. But other than the, the people who are over 50 years old, they're, those are most of the people that don't have TikTok, but even some of them still do. So. All right, Wonder, you have any thoughts on the 2018 Chevy Cruze? I have thoughts, but that's because I'm a Chevy hater. And also, the Chevy Cruze, I was never a fan of that car in general. I got to see what it looks like. It looks like every Chevy car from 2018 because Chevy only has one design language and it's bad. <laughs> this pod is all over the place. Welcome to the Scuffed Ass Podcast for episode number 240. 240 weeks in a row! Undefeated, never missed. You know, the three certainties in life, death, taxes, and the Scuffed Ass Podcast. Oh, fuck. Mm. Um, I would say they're fine. Um, there's... Can you think of a single car you'd recommend a Chevy Cruze over? Well, not really, because... I mean, they'll be fine. Uh, the, I mean... Will they? My biggest issue I have with them is... They're just like the Traverses. They have, I think they have the same transmission and they've been known to have transmission failures. I just went to consumer reports to see what, there are currently three active recalls on the 2018 Chevy Cruze. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. One of them is How? probably an airbag. No, none of them actually. <laughs> what? <laughs> so there's a powertrain recall um, from missing bolts on the start-stop accumulator end cap. Could result in the transmission oil leak and may progress to loss of propulsion, increasing the risk of a crash. Also, oh. you know, the fluid leak can, you know, destroy the... Yeah, 
the it's the same transmission issue that it's always been. Um, there's a brakes issue um, dealing with the hydraulics that inc- leads to an increased risk of a crash. There's also a recall because of the fuel system because all of these cars had a fucking fuel leak that was causing fires. So, oh. like, 2018 Chevy Cruze, uh, don't buy it. That's yeah, that's my um, takeaway. It, if, if, you know, I don't know. If I had to choose, I would look for, like, a Malibu or an Equinox or anything like that versus the Cruze. Well, that's my car. Sorry, buddy. Now, I'm at the point where any, like, I almost... Luckily, Ford doesn't make a car anymore. But yeah. I don't think there's an American car worth buying, like from an American car company. Right. Unless you want to say the Mustang, but I... Like the Mustang's good. It's also the only muscle car left, but most people who are looking for a car aren't looking for a Mustang. True. When you think of a car, you're thinking of like a sedan. And or something that's good on gas mileage. In that case, you just support. want a Toyota. I really Most have Toyota become a be true better. Toyota fanboy at this point. That's because, like, let's look at Consumer Report for anything Toyota, right? Um, sedans and hashbacks. Let's find a. Let's find a Toyota. Let's pick a random Toyota, right? We'll go back to 2018 as well. Let's go, just go 2018 Camry. Let's see if Consumer Report has anything. Or if well, it does have stuff. I, will say, I mean, every I car's will say, obviously got recalls. Right. That's how cars work. Say, there will be any kind of newer vehicle has a shit ton of recalls at some point. Every vehicle has recalls. You want me to look at your because truck? You have, but, well, yeah, exactly. I already know. I already had to fix like fucking four of them. But anyway... Um, but there's so many goddamn sensors, so many, so much wiring, so much harnesses, so much crap on these newer vehicles that you're going to have recalls. It's just an, in, it's, you know, inevitable, you know, it's pretty much you buy a newer vehicle and then you just, all right, now give me the list of all the recalls. I got to go get taken care of. Yeah. It's pretty goofy. Uh, like the one thing that my really pissed has. me off about about Chevy was they had like for two years they they made vehicles or whatever, and most of them used the same airbag, the same technology, all the same airbags and stuff like that. Um, more specifically on the passenger sides, and after those two years of vehicles being made they had a shit ton of recalls because the thin metal um, plate that covers the airbag after a while would um, deteriorate and basically would become a claymore when your airbag went off. So it just shoot metal shards into your face. So that big issue. So then they had all these recalls and stuff. They continued to use the same fucking airbags for the next three goddamn years. Yeah. I'm like, there's a problem with them fix it you know what the problem is no because it's cheaper to not fix it because they can just issue a recall and then they only have to fix the ones that people bring in yep which Which is is really goofy because even when even though they're supposed to contact everybody that owns a car of that make and model they don't Mm -hmm. um so apparently with my car, there has been three different uh, recalls because of the door latches, which I think mm-hmm. is pretty funny. Uh, there was also one for not a fuel leak. It's a fuel system thing, but there's an excessive vacuum that could result in an engine stall. Ooh. Uh Apparently, at one point, there was a transmission leak, but if I recall correctly, I actually have the paperwork on that car from when they took it into Ford and got it fixed. Uh-huh. 
interesting. There's some... Uh, those are always fun. Looking at recalls is always fun. I find it depressing. True. Hey, did you... I mean, it could be worse. It could be the lunch meat that got recalled. Oh, God, I heard about that. Dude. Yeah, so Boar's Head had a bunch of recalls. And then I was looking at the FDA website at all their recalls. Ooh, mm -hmm. a new one dropped on 9-11 from 7-Eleven. Um, on their fudge brownies. Recall reason. I think not. <laughs> recall reason. Undeclared walnuts. In their uh, fudge brownies. Man. 9-11, that's only 3-11's difference. Sure. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Uh, brand called Hammonds. They make dark chocolate-filled mini waffle cones. Um, no, I, come on. Recall reason description, undeclared milk. Dog, it says chocolate right in the thing. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, candy whole cantaloupes. A fruit company called Candy. Quite interesting. Um, they've recalled their whole cantaloupes because of potential to be contaminated with salmonella. Fucking how? How does this even happen? <laughs> um, let's see. Any other things I've heard of? Um, I mean, there's a, a few. So, where you want to know hell? something that's stupid about me? Regarding, I can think a lot of things. Oh God, go ahead. So I thought. Because of 9-11, that's why, that's how we got our number for 911. <laughs> nice. For like years as a kid, I thought 911 was because of 9-11. Nice. Yeah. It was only until I was like, I was in like sixth grade when I learned it was like created by AT&T in like 1968 or some shit like that. <laughs> I'm like, I like my story better. Apparently, the Boar's Head recall is done, as far as I can tell. There was a company called Bloodline. They make uh, water-based tattoo pigments, and oh. they got recalled because they were contaminated with high concentrations of microorganisms. Mm. Oh, I don't know what this company is, but they make a ground cinnamon. They got recalled due to elevated levels of lead. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta love lead in your system. Yeah. Uh, yeah. On a different note, you should make a video reviewing Jake Paul's new deodorant. No. I don't want to buy Jake Paul's deodorant. I weirdly haven't had Prime in a long time either. Well, that's surprising. I don't know, man. I've like, so they finally started selling. So at the store, there have always been those bottles of like Starbucks cold brew or iced coffees. Mm -hmm. They finally released an actual dark roast for it, though. Oh. And then they actually put out their vanilla creamer. So I kind of, I haven't even made a real cup of co like used my Keurig in two weeks. Oh. I just keep using the bottles of cold coffee and yeah. that creamer. What I've learned is uh, my dislike for sweet things has gotten even worse. Mm. I barely put any creamer in my coffee anymore. It's like just enough to remove that shitty bitter taste on the end of a really dark roast, and that's it. It's like I'm mostly tasting coffee. We're just We're just breaking up that really shitty bitter part at the end. Um, body armor is better. I disagree. 
I definitely disagree. I'm not a big body armor guy, but also I he's mean, stuck I, in ads. So we'll go back to that one in a minute. Yeah. I'm looking for more stuff. Meyer dunking cookies, chocolate chips recalled for undeclared milk. Dog. It's a chocolate chip cookie. Of course there's milk. What do you mean undeclared? How dumb are you? Fuck. Dude, this is why I think we need to take warning labels off of everything. I don't know about that. Some warning labels are important. Oh, it's a chemical meant for washing my clothes? Maybe I shouldn't eat it. If not supposed to eat, then why does it look so appetizing? I don't know. You can't tell me you've never looked at a Tide Pod and thought, looks like it might taste kind of good. Yeah, I thought that, but I, I also went, hmm, there's probably a lot of harmful chemicals in that. I probably shouldn't eat it. And then you went and ate McDonald's, which is the same shit. Well, it's going to slowly kill me. It's not going to instantly kill me like a Tide Pod will. Well, a Tide Pod won't instantly kill you. It'll be a couple hours, whatever. Yeah, that's not instant. That's internal slow. bleeding. It's you'll be fine for a few hours. Ow. Ah, oh, goofy. I know. Oof. <laughs> Damn. Justin Jefferson is, uh, I mean, he's allowed to say shit like this, but damn. Somebody during an interview today or during his, you know, media's time, I guess yesterday, asked Justin Jefferson if he watched how the 49ers defended Garrett Wilson in week one to prepare him for Sunday. He's like, yes and no. Respectfully, I'm not Garrett Wilson. Teams play me totally different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like, yeah, I he watched, but, like, correct. respectfully, I'm not Garrett Wilson. I'm better. Also, Garrett Wilson missed catches that Justin Jefferson probably wouldn't. So, just going to throw that out there. True. Oh. Don, the day is back. Right. Um, so, I very much disagree about body armor being better. I really do. I got to go look at body armor's nutrition label. Yeah, I don't know. I drank them both, so... I mean, I'm going to lean towards Prime a little bit more, but just for a specific flavor. Fuck. Um... I like the banana prime or whatever. True. Strawberry banana prime. So body armor has literally five times the calorie. No, six times the calories. Six times the calories. Um, It does have less sodium. No, it has more sodium actually, which isn't a bad thing. It is a hydration drink. Mm-hmm. Way more total carbs. Um, same amount of protein. Body armor doesn't list how much sugar it has. That feels. Oh, no, it does. Yeah, body armor has 35 grams of total sugar, 33 grams of added sugar. Prime has two grams of sugar, no added sugars. And, like, when you break down the, like, better stuff in it, like the vitamins and shit, Prime wins. And I don't know how much Body Armor costs. Uh, you know, I'll go off their website. You can buy. I don't want you to advertise to me, thanks. Um, Body Armor on Amazon. You can buy a 12-pack. Jesus. You can buy a 12-pack for 12 bucks. You? That okay? That has to be ass if it's that cheap. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, 
So in the in the in the quite a large town to 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 the east, you know where I go mm-hmm. get my tattoo. Yeah. There there was something happening at the like little park area. You remember where we went to the one like MMA fights in oh, that little yeah. park yep. area on Main Street. Yep. I know what you're talking. So th- they were doing something there today. Um, so there were like food trucks. So I walked over there with my tattoo artist. We like went and got tacos. That was the worst food out of a food truck I've ever had. I'm like genuinely depressed. I was all excited for a barbacoa taco. <laughs> it was not good. I knew it immediately after they handed me the box. You know how some corn tortillas have that really dog food smell? Mm hmm. It was yep. bad. <laughs> so Prime, you can get a 12-pack for 20 bucks. So it is cheaper the other way. But I've never tried the Cherry Freeze. Have you? Uh, oh, he's just saying that. Um, oh, Prime tastes much better. Body armor is so much cheaper. That's fair, but... The thing that tastes better and is better for me is the one I'm going to choose every time. If I can't right. afford the better drink, I just won't buy a drink and I'll take a bottle of water. Right. Like I do at TwitchCon. <laughs> Except for when we went and buy those fucking $10 coffees in the goddamn convention center. No shit. That stupid uh, Dunkin' oh. Donut yeah. coffees. Yeah. Yeah, I only bought one of those that whole time we were up there. Yeah, he kept watching me do it. He's like, you're insane. It's like, dude, I need coffee. The hotel coffee was worse. Yeah. So I had to, I had to do it. It had to be done. Mostly because, like, going to a Starbucks for a cheaper coffee wasn't an option. Because right. to get an Uber to get the Starbucks, it would have cost more than just paying for the fucking $10 coffee. Right. Uh, Plus, like, I mean, coffee. Gotta have it. I don't like coffee, but I can't live without it. I love coffee. Can't live without it. I gotta have it to function in the morning. Um, I loved... Dude, I'm so happy that it's back in San Diego, though, because... They have a Starbucks in the convention center instead of a Dunkin'. And Starbucks doesn't normally raise their price based on where they are. They do lower their price if it's the one in a Target, though, for whatever reason. I don't know what kind of deal they have with Target. but Because it's women's two favorite place to be at the same time, so it's cheaper. True. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I've never been into Target, man. I'm also not really Me into either. Walmart. I miss the days of malls that mattered. Mm-hmm. I wonder if Casper still has a good mall. I haven't been in there in a well, while. I know they had a Best Buy, which always made them better. They still have a Best Buy. Right. So that makes them better. But are they any good other than they have a Best well, Buy? Well, I don't know if it's a part of mall anymore. I think Best Buy has their own building now. Over oh. Castle. That yeah. sucks. It's a big-ass building. It's all just nothing but tank inside. Well, I know. It's Best Buy, dude. I love Best Buy. We went all the way down there just for my girlfriend to buy a tablet. She didn't buy a tablet. they had it. They didn't have it. Nice. On their website, they said they had three of them when we got yeah, there. She was just buying None a Kindle Fire. Had- Why didn't you just go over to Walmart? Or, like, um, order her one no, on Amazon. She wanted a specific one of something. I don't remember what it was, though. Because I remember this conversation, because she was going to have me fuck with her tablet, and I'm like, there's really yeah. no point. Because what did she have? She had a... Kindle Fire or something. Yeah, so she went with something else, because she's tired of, a, like, only working for, like, a year and then shitting the bed, so... So did she buy, like, a real tablet, like an iPad yeah. or a samsung galaxy tab i think we got a sam it it doesn't matter it's a tablet tablet's tablet man but yeah even though i still do think the i uh the ipad is the best of them and that's just because apple's really weird but 
because they're the only people who actually care about t- making tablets functional. So, like, all of the Android tablets, they exist and you can use them. But they're not, like, they don't put the care into making software that functions for them. So, it just, they have to be, like, the same shape as your phone so that they can just blow up the image. So, it kind of sucks. Because nobody wants to put the care into making an Android tablet that looks any good. So Apple wins by default because they put in minimum effort. (laughs) Goofy. Oh, you got a tech question. It's above my head. I have an iPad 9. Should I upgrade to the iPad Pro? When did the iPad 9 come out? Ooh, you want me to yell about something Apple does that's stupid? Their naming scheme for, like, MacBooks. Every (laughs) year... You know what releases? A MacBook, a MacBook Air, and a MacBook Pro. With no discerning number or any way to know what's what. So when somebody's like, yeah, I have a MacBook. I have a MacBook Pro. It's like, okay. I I, I don't know what that means, though. Do you have the one that I used when I was in high school or a new one? I don't know. It's a couple <laughs> years old. It's like, I need to know the exact year. And then I somehow still need more information because just looking up MacBook Pro 2015 doesn't help because there's like 18 different SKUs. Like, it (laughs) genuinely hurts my soul how bad their naming scheme is while they also do their naming scheme perfectly with iPhone. Because, you know, iPhone. Then there was the iPhone 3G, which is just because 3G started to exist. Mm-hmm. And then the 3GS, iPhone 4, 4S, 5, 5S, 6, 6S, 7, 8, 10. They skipped 9 for some reason. Don't know. 10S, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's just like PlayStation, how they like were just smart. PlayStation, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you got Xbox. Right. You got Xbox. You got Xbox 360. You got Xbox One, <laughs> and then you got Xbox Series. I used to have the MacBook Pro, the 2020 with the touch bar. I loved the touch bar. I am one of the five people on earth who liked the touch bar. I think the other four worked at Apple. <laughs> Um. Oh yeah. So iPad ninth generation, ten point two inch, came out in twenty twenty one. I don't, unless you plan to like draw stuff and use it for art. I don't think you'd need to upgrade yet. Personally. Um. What else? What else is there today? It got really quiet. Yeah, I don't know. Is there anything else for you to yap about, Wonder? You got words? Not really. I got to get up early. and. Yeah. I was going to say, we literally have to record another one of these tomorrow, so. Yeah, hopefully I'll get time to do that at some point. Tech and car advice, the episode. You know what? There's the title. There you go. Tech and car advice. Let's go... Join us next week for episode 241 when I teach you how to make a bomb. Wait, what? (laughs) Hey, I'm down. (laughs) It's fucked up that we both know this. I know several ways. I was going to say, it's fucked up that we both know very different ways. (laughs) I also literally have access to bombs. (laughs) True. Ooh, you you can even get some of the good one. (laughs) I can. But, can be a little risky, but I could. The question is, is do I stream more? Like, do I just start playing some games for a bit? Oh, one last tech question. Should I upgrade my MacBook to the recent Air? Uh, that, yeah. It's getting, you know, you're about five years old. Honestly, I'd wait until, like, May, though. 
Wait until after WWDC 25 and just get the refreshed MacBook Air when it's just slightly better again. Because you're not truly, like, you're getting close to being in need of one, but you're not needing one yet. You know? So just, like, it's just, like, if you needed a phone right now, wonder. I'd, mm-hmm. it, or if you were, like, you know, I'm really thinking about it. Unless you were going to do the OnePlus 12 because it's more recent. If you were waiting for the next Samsung or going to get the latest Samsung, I'd say just wait the three months until they release the next one. Because right. at this point, yeah. just wait. Well, it'll be at least three months before right. I get a new one. Well, it was just like in I August, right? If I, or June. If in June I was like, man, I want a new iPhone or a new phone. Okay, right. wait until September and get the iPhone. Like, mm-hmm. it is that simple. You just got to wait. Oh, you were going to get the M1 chip, not the M2. I would honestly spring for the M2 or wait until the M3 goes on sale, which would come in May. It's not the hugest power difference between, you know, the one or the two. It's huge between the one and the three. But you want the M2 or the M3 entirely because they're going to get software support for a longer amount of time. And that matters like a lot. Um, all of them should get pretty decent software support for a decent amount of time because they're an I, uh, the most recent chip. But I think that'll do it for us. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.